Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make thumbnails for Roblox videos. Here is the thumbnail for my last video. What? It doesn't look like the thumbnail? Well, here's the actual thumbnail, but I think some of this got cut off. I'll be showing you how to make these thumbnails. Yeah, we're a studio. So, first of all, make a green box. Just make a green box like this. Just some big green walls. If you don't know, you got to click part. And then scale it to however you want. And you don't have to anchor it or anything. Anchoring it makes it float. But make it a nice, this nice lime green. And then just make a box of it. Then you're gonna want some lights. You can because the lights make it all the same color. If it's a, if it was like this, the um thing I used wouldn't it wouldn't really the um programs I use there's this one I use Fire Alpaca. Sometimes it won't it won't really like pick up that with all the other colors and it'll glitch out and stuff. Oh, there's a lantern. Oops. So after you do that you're going to want to get some models you can just type in something like robloxian 2.0 and um i guess i didn't find anything let's let's go let's try robloxian where Reox I like Robloxian 2.0 though. You can use whichever Robloxian you want. You can use the ones with the square bodies. You can probably find like the woman pack. Robloxian 2.0. Where is the model I use? Is this the one? Honestly, it really doesn't matter. But it should look something along the lines of this. And when you open it, it should have all these things in it. Now, what you're gonna do is let's take my um, newest thumbnail and we'll just move this over here. You can go to knife. And this lantern. So, you're going to want to set your Robloxian up in the spot where, well, you have all the same color background and there's none of this, like, little line between it. So, you're going, then you're going to want to position your Robloxian in any pose, any pose you want. So, let's just do something simple with the right arm. I'll just tilt it up like this and move it upwards. If you want the if you want this to be of your character, first of all, you're going to want to go on to your character. I'm going to click profile and oh, it says I'm in my tech. And so find the clothes you're wearing. Since I'm wearing this BTS Rat Monster Varsity jacket, then up in this number here, you're going to want to do that, and it's a shirt. So if it says shirt, then you're going to want to do it for shirt. Anyways, copy this little set of numbers, and you can either right click it and copy, or just control C. It depends on how you want to do it. And now, click on shirt you are going to want to click shirt template and in this URL you're going to paste that set of numbers and press enter it will put the shirt onto your Robloxian now I will put the pants on and you can do the exact same thing with the pants click that click on pants click this and paste the number in and click enter then your character will have pants so 
After that, you're going to want to choose some hair or whatever. So, like, oops. Instead of putting all of the, um, instead of putting all of the accessories on my Robloxian, oh, sorry, that was for my last thumbnail that I have, I am, I actually forgot to put the scarf in wings. Oops. Um, I'm just going to stick with only this black manga hero hair. Now, you don't have to do anything with the ID. You can just copy black manga hero hair, go into models, and paste it in. Or you can just type it. Now, there's a bunch of different colors, and it's really nice because some of these are really cute. So, I'm going to go with this peach manga hair because it's adorable like this is adorable all of these manga hairs like most of them are all by the same person but they're really nice and so you're just going to want to adjust this on and i know it looks kind of funky and if you're wondering how you um like make it go through the head then well um, I don't remember, so, uh, I'll make a different video on that sometime later, but, actually, how did I do that? Oh, yeah, um, you're going to want to click collisions. If collisions is like that, you won't be able to move it, but if collisions is off, you'll be able to move it all you want through, and you'll be able to move it, like, through heads and stuff. So then, position it how you would like it on the head. Now, say you can't get that perfect look. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect on all sides, just depending on where you're taking the shot from. Say that it looks not, you think it looks nice here, but the back is all messed up. It's okay, since you're not taking a shot of the back, it really won't matter. But if you're like me, you will want to get it perfect on everything. Except it's kind of going through. And if you um, accidentally deselect the hair, and it's not one of those things where you can just click it and select it, it's fine. Look through in here, and you should see something that has this hat icon. And here, boy anime hair, peach. Now, it will probably have a name like like hair or like fabulous hair or something so after you got that go ahead and open bandy cam or anything else that you use to record your screen with now i personally take screenshots with bandy cam as you see and after you open that so with bandy cam click image and then select your roblox and it will actually only take an area uh screenshot of this area of the area that's all in green and stuff so set your hotkey to whatever you want i just have mine on f11 no and but before you do this i personally like to change the character model's name i rename it to just a dot so when I edit these, it will be easier, and I'll be able to do it better. So I can just draw over that dot, or it will be at least easier to remove later. Now, line up your shot perfectly. You don't need any plugins for this, but if you want to get more than one shot or do a stop motion, you might want to use something like an Aussie Pig plugin. I'll do more I'll do a video on stop motion sometime, but I'm not sure when. So, now take it take Bandicam and just click your hotkey. So mine's F11. So press F11 and it's okay if it like does that where it kind of spazzes out. It's all fine. None of that matters. So, what you're going to want to do now is open a software for editing. I'm opening paint.net and now click open and in a file called like bandycam or something you should see 
the thing you just took and open that and after you open it up you can just you know um just instead of erasing the little dot there um you can just select that and just color over it make your thing bigger so then you're going to want to take this magic wand tool right here and select make sure you've selected everything because it can be kind of a hassle if you haven't and it gets kind of annoying like that little screen dot there if you select everything just um, click the undo and to select both this and this at the same time just select this while holding control oops but select the green dot while holding control I'm really bad at this so I cannot select that green dot this is frustrating there you go and make sure you have all of the green dots selected and don't forget about small areas like this and these and remember when if you want to select more than one thing at once just click the thing you want to select while holding the magic wand button after that you can take your eraser tool put it on a very big size such as a thousand or something like that oops and if you if you've um, forgotten to select something like me it's normally a lot easier to see after the entire background is gone so just oops control D select just zoom in and select the things that weren't selected earlier and remember, if you, um, like, if you're bad at selecting like me, it's okay. So, now, just select all that. And, the program I am using is paint.net. It's really good for making thumbnails. And just, you know, erase that and zoom out. So, after... After that, you're going to want to get some sort of background. Now, this is a tutorial for people who don't want in-game Roblox backgrounds. Like, say, they didn't want to build an entire new background for this, in, or they wanted, like, an IRL background. So, let's use a picture of a city. Now, just Google up the word city and click images. Mm. let's see let's use this one now you're going to want to copy the image go back onto paint.net and click edit or hover your mouse over edit click it and then click paste into new layer if it's larger than canvas click keeps canvas size and oops and just scale it down to however you like it i actually personally like the size and i'd like to make it quite a bit bigger so just scale it however you want it doesn't really matter and there you go i don't personally like how this looks but for the sake of the video i'll stick with it now if you're um if you really don't like where your character is posi positioned or you don't like the size you can click the background layer then you can select your character click control transform huh can you not control transform oh well but you're going to want to do that then then there's normally something like up here you can transform or resize or you could do something like that crop to selection but you know just I'm gonna just keep it here for the video 
and there you go you have your perfect roblox thumbnail with a real life background or say you want a roblox background so just roblox um let's just go roblox city background and let's find a nice one hmm I'm not sure which one to use. These are all pretty good. But anyways, you get the idea. So that was how to um, make your own Roblox background with your character. And if you need, if you think, if you don't know how to do anything else, if you need me to tell you, anything else just comment down below and i will respond to it as quickly as i can on how to do that okay so i hope you enjoyed my tutorial and please like and subscribe if this is helpful you don't have to but if you like this video then i suggest you give it a like and if you want to see any other tutorials i will make them so